Hi, I'm Dr. George Northrup. I'm a psychiatrist and addiction specialist based in Tampa, Florida. Today, we're talking about how to detect a chemical imbalance. Now, people often come to me and ask, Doc, do I have a chemical imbalance? I tend to interpret that question as, do I have a mental health problem? And if so, is it the kind of thing that can be helped by medication? By its very nature, the term chemical imbalance is difficult to, to make sense of. All, all processes in the brain run through either chemical messengers or through electricity. So essentially almost every process in the brain is a chemical reaction. So what does a chemical imbalance mean? Well, let's again, let's look at it from the standpoint of mental health issues. People that are depressed will sometimes come and ask me if they have a chemical imbalance. Now, I've seen people who have apparently little to no stressors, no reason to be depressed, come in and say that their mood has been tailing off, they started to have crying spells, their appetite has changed, they can't sleep, and they have no idea why. They have no particular stressor, no idea as to why or how this happened. Now, this might be somebody who would say, do I have a chemical imbalance? Again, I'm not sure exactly what that phrase means, but this is somebody who has what we would call an endogenous depression or what comes from within. And this is something that is likely to be treated successfully with medication. So if we take that scenario as a chemical imbalance, this is one way to detect and treat it. Other times that people might be wondering about a chemical imbalance are in situations of bipolar disorder, drug abuse, other behaviors or patterns of thought that are affecting them negatively in some way. The only way to be sure about that is to consult a mental health professional and typically a psychiatrist. Now, not every mental health problem requires medication or should even be treated with medication. Sometimes cognitive behavioral therapy or other methods may be helpful. But again, when we're talking about a chemical imbalance, that's something that can mean a lot of different things and it's an ill-defined term. You're unlikely to be able to recognize a chemical imbalance in yourself. Um, but if you have questions about your behavior or your emotions, that would be a good time to consult a psychologist, a therapist, or a psychiatrist. I'm Dr. George Northrup, and we're talking about detecting a chemical imbalance.